Almost 200 years ago, the world saw the very first electric car. We didn't refine the electric vehicles back then, but instead moved to gasoline cars. Because we had to use the million tons of crude oil that we had. Yeah, that's how human race has been, always thinking selfishly. Fast forward to today, here we are. After seriously damaging our environment by causing global warming and massive climate change, we want to move to electric cars. Suddenly, every company on the planet is starting to care about their carbon footprint. We know where we are headed. Sooner or later, we all will have to adopt the electric cars. This video is power packed with everything you need to know about electric cars and we are starting right now. This is the dawn of the new era. Electric cars are the future and nothing can change that. So it's time to tear the bedroom poster of Lamborghini Huracan and maybe have a poster of this because this is the future. Here is why electric cars are the future. They're economical. EVs will result in huge savings in fuel. Imagine saving lakhs each year just on the fuel. They're cheaper to maintain. Believe me when I say this, other than the wiper blades and tire changes, electric cars need very little maintenance. Electric cars don't need oil changes or liquid top-ups. Battery pack is the most expensive part of an electric vehicle and most manufacturers offer 8 years of warranty on that. Imagine owning a car for 8 years and never having to worry about it. Electric cars are also safer, with larger crumple zones, lower center of gravity, lesser chance of flammability, higher levels of automation and constant over-the-air updates. Electric cars are way safer than gasoline or diesel cars. Better designs. Nobody denies that electric cars are good looking. Not these kinds, but these. They don't need large chrome grills or vents or flashy exhaust pipes, yet they're elegant. And the futuristic design language is quite apparent all throughout. And of course, they're good for the environment, a point to be stressed on, but very few car buyers care about. We can reduce the carbon footprint by more than half just by switching to electric. And India is very keen to move to electric cars. Sounds far-fetched? Watch this. Tata, Hyundai, MG Motors, Audi, Jaguar, Volvo, Maruti Suzuki, Mercedes, Renault, Mahindra, Nissan, and Ford all are going to launch electric cars in the Indian market. There are going to be over 15 electric cars in India in the next two years. With major push from the government and subsidized pricing, we are going to see more electric cars on the Indian roads in the coming years. Right now, the electric car market share is so insignificant that it's not even worth discussing. If electric cars are better and supported by the government, then why don't we own more electric cars? The answer is really simple. Infrastructure. We lack infrastructure. In a conventional car, we drive out of our building and go to a petrol pump to get some fuel. That eats up 20 minutes of our time once a week. Imagine now driving your electric car to the nearest charging station and waiting there for 4 hours each week while your car charges. Of course, nobody can afford that kind of time. Therefore, we need charging points at home, inside our buildings or bungalows so that the EVs can be charged at home during the night. For those of you who are thinking that electricity is still required to charge an EV, yes it is. We are in a transition period now. The ultimate goal is to charge the electric cars using clean energy like wind or solar. Moreover, we should note that the petrol or diesel cars we also create life cycle emissions in extraction of crude, its conversion to gasoline and its transport ultimately to the petrol pumps. In contrast, 
the amount of fossil fuels burnt to generate electricity that charges your car is less than half. So it is still a huge leap forward for the environment. Tesla has been spearheading the world's transition to electric cars and has kept many of its patents open for others to use. Many of Tesla's technology is open source and other car brands can use it. But legacy brands like Lamborghini and Bugatti have spent years mastering their engine. As the world goes electric, they will lose their pedigree and their stature. A new kid on the block, Tesla, comes in and literally has stolen the show. The Germans have been trying to make good electric cars using their proprietary technologies, but they aren't able to match up to Tesla. For now. A lot is going to change. The interiors, the exterior design, the automation inside the cars, how the car drives and how the power is delivered. We should not be skeptical, but should be feeling excited to move into the new world. Today, we are getting excited by Hello Blue Link open sunroof. Imagine sentry mode or playing video games with your car steering while the vehicle is charging. We all know about ludicrous mode and the autonomous driving. There is a world of difference in car technology between where we are and where we will soon be. The pickup of a car is going to be so immaterial. Electric cars give instant talk. Efficiency and range will be the new buzzwords. In the next decade, we'll be considering electric as our next car. The government will subsidize the cars too. There will be lesser pollution, more savings, because EVs are going to be so easy to maintain. More people will buy the electric cars, but this will only add to road congestion. We would then need more roads and more parking space. But we can deal with that later. There is a rampant advancement in technology supporting the electric cars. We'll see electric cars having priority lanes or wireless charging using magnetic coils and solar panels laid on the roads. A lot is going to change. The radars, umpteen sensors and cameras, and the internet-connected cars are going to aid in completely autonomous driving. The road transport will eventually be super safe. If we had continued refining the electric cars since the 19th century, Today, we could all very well be having our solar-powered homes and cars. Imagine a world where you don't have to pay for your car fuel and no electricity bills either. Conventional gasoline cars have taken over 100 years to get here. And the electric cars can do the same already. See, before we shun the idea of electric cars by giving reasons like they don't have engine sounds, let's give it a chance. Let's test drive the good electric car. It will put an ear-to-ear -ear smile on your face as you are pinned down into your seat. We may be team petrol or team diesel today, but in the next decade, a lot is going to change. Let's do a bit of good and help Earth free from the damage. Let's travel in safer, smarter cars. That saves us a lot of money. Let's be team electric. Wasn't that a lot of fun? Go smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Stay tuned for more fun videos coming right up. Until then, watch more car videos here. See you next week.